Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings. In our last video, we did cleanse a supposed hospital of the spirits haunting it. And we are now currently helping a troll get some revenge on the people who murdered his lady. So so that's what we're doing. <laughs> uh, I have relocated from the last video. I am near the cemetery, which oddly enough we've already been to before, so that made that easy to find again. Um, they are right up the hill. The one thing I want to do is change my sign. And um, I have been going through my inventory because one of you were kind enough to mention, hey, you don't use these things in your potions. And I have most of them. I don't have all of them. So hopefully I won't have to kill things again, but we'll see. And I also found a diagram for a much nicer witcher's sword, but I don't have the stuff to make it. So I have to figure that out as well. But anyway, that's a, that's, that's a me problem, not a you problem. <laughs> so let's see, the cemetery is up this way, I think. Maybe I'm going the right way. I think I turned a little too quickly. Yes, I did. Yes, here's the what I thought looked like an elven cemetery, but it may not be. Are there people up there? Let's use our use our button. Pick some flowers. Oh, there are people up here. The reader will know that's no squirrel, but an ordinary elf. He won't know shit. Ears pointy, check. We'll dress the corpse in green and collect an even hundred. Heard Melena makes more than that. I guess robbing the soldiers... I'll not hear of that whore again, elves. got it? Treacherous rag. She'll get what she deserves. Won't be long now. Couldn't satisfy her, eh? Can't fault the girl for being ambitious. <laughs> and the stiff on the ground is who? Some spy from Vizima, soon to be our squirrel's grave mate. Laredo told me to get rid of him, and since we've got this vacancy in the boneyard, thought I might do our friend a small favour. He don't look like no spy. They never do once they're dead. Oh, almost forgot. Might pay to search him good and thorough before we plant him in the dirt. You, Dimitri? Why the fuck do you want to know? The troll sends his regards. Kill him! No witnesses! To the moon. Well, I'm gonna have no qualms about killing you guys. Now let's kill the shieldless ones first, hopefully. Ghouls oh. bite the dust. Ah! You know I'm a witcher. I feel like I should be able to kill humans a whole lot easier. Um, let's see. Oh. I didn't buy any potions or anything of that sort. Okay, let's get my Igni sign back out. Yeah, I'm running in circles, so you guys can't get to me. All right, come on, almost got one down. All right, well, two down, I think. <laughs> I'm a little squeamish. Well, I'm not really squeamish, more just like I don't want to die. Hm. How about a bomb? Let's seem to sort of do the thing. Oh, the other one died from being on fire? That's awesome. Alright, well, let's, um,. Loot everything up here, because there are... Bandit's hideout key, robust long sword, Dimitri's letter of safe passage. What is that? I keep hitting, hitting the wrong buttons. Letter of safe passage for Dimitri to all unit commanders and officers. The bearer of this document, a man named Dimitri, is acting under orders from Com Commandant Bernard Laredo. He should not be hindered in any way. In the event of his violation of Temerian law, punishment should not be exacted, though the deed should be reported immediately to the Commandant by orders of Bernard Laredo, Commandant of Flotsam, and its garrison, Louis Merce. Why does... Like... The name Dimitri is ringing a bell again for some reason. 
He killed his bandits, Demetrius and his bandits in the burial ground. The lucky bastards wouldn't have to go far now. The female troll was avenged. All right, let me check my journal and see if there's anything else that I needed to catch up on. I was like, I feel like there should be. So Rupert was the, yeah, one of the guys who met the asylum. And Adirni and Menek claimed he had come to the area with his friend Gridley in search of rare herbs. However, it appeared that they had underestimated the dangers lurking in both the forest and the ruins. But something was missing in his story, however. Rupert had been a medic in a field hospital during the war. He and his friends had committed a crime back then. Years later, the wrath of the Nilfgaardian soldier they had tortured to death summoned them to the scene of the crime so to have its revenge. Even though Rupert was a reprehensible criminal, Geralt did not give him to the wraith. I feel like I totally should have that. Next time, sir. Next time. You are going to the wraith. Yet he decided the villains must pay for their deeds. Okay, so that's what happened in the last video. And Gridley was his compatriot, his fellow criminal. Um, yeah, then Shorab, Lobindan's alderman, a simple man, he nevertheless blended his penchant for storytelling with the desire to teach and impart wisdom. His tales pertain to times long past, traditions worthy of preservation, and legends that had all but been forgotten. He cared for the com for the community he led and represented, and any honest villager could count on his help. So he's the one who asked us to not kill the troll. But I feel like a few videos before that, it's kind of hard to say how many because it's only twice a week. <laughs> um, I, I, I like was running around um, Flotsam and Lobinden and compiling a bunch of interactions, and I feel like he's told a couple of stories that I compiled. Uh, all the troll of Flotsam. Like most of his kind, the troll living near Flotsam had built a stone bridge and demanded a toll from the, those crossing it. The folk of Lubinden quickly realized it was a preferable alternative to keeping the structure in good order themselves, so the troll's presence was not a problem for anyone. But believe it or not, the troll took to drinking like the most degenerate hobo, thus proving that alcoholism is not unique to the more developed races. A personal tragedy was behind the troll's drunkenness, the death of his wife... Don't worry. Oh, look, Dimitri gets an entry. Comparing Dimitri to Zangwabari hyena would be an insult to the poor animal. Unlike the beast, this scoundrel fed not only ate on carrion, but also on human and non-human misfortune. Um, yeah, I killed him because he seems like a horrible person. Okay, that's all fine. Monsters are all okay. Um... Yeah, superb silver sword. I, I feel like I thought I had iron ore and silver ore, but I don't. So I got to figure out how to get that because that's a big upgrade. Um, and then I don't think I have any formulas. Oh, the wild hunt. Um, one of the insane asylum's patients claimed to have been abducted by the wild hunt and taken to a world where <laughs> the unicorn saunter about lush elven gardens. I remember that. And then Edern, we've read about that one. Tamaria. Uh, anyone who wishes to be considered an educated man rather than a common boar should mention Tamaria first, where the northern kingdoms are concerned. Uh, yes, yeah, the the flowers. Uh, they kept yelling that in the in the prologue. Yeah, the prologue, because I'm in chapter one. Um, currently, Tamaria's neighbors include those people. Um. White Bridge, okay, the Lavalette family, okay, and then Redania, that's the, we met the king of Redania in Witcher 1, I think, he's the one who married um, Ada, so that's that, and then politics, I'll read more about those later, I don't feel like I need to read those right now, let's loot right now, let's, let's do the fun stuff, after we kill people, I feel like that, I feel like that came out wrong, okay, I think we can put away our sword. Okay, anything else? And then there were all these poor people that they murdered over here. Report for Thaler. Oh, was that the guy that I just talked to not too long ago? Report for the Temerian Secret Service. I've no idea who's the worst liar, Loreto or his kin, Merce. Brought here to the office of Castellan after the scandal of Azima. Not one thing in the report is true. Dimitri is alive. The elves are well 
are well off. Yorveth has not left and has even made a deal with some witcher. Furthermore, it seems Laredo brought some remnants of the salamandra here to traffic in Fistic. Uh-oh. I, I helped out that guy become a drug dealer. To traffic in Fistic for him, as if the money he gets from fraud isn't enough. The question of why the commander isn't afraid of the capital's wrath begs an answer, even excluding the fact that Laredo uses the chaos caused by Foltus's death to his advantage. He is plotting high treason. I have no idea what his goal is, and I have no intention of finding out. Send a real spy here. It doesn't suit my nerves. S.I. Earwig. Special investigator earwig, maybe? I don't know. Ooh. A salamandra. We, we spent an entire game. Like, I felt like 50 hours. I don't think it was 50 hours, but it felt like it. Um, killing all those guys, and now they're still around? Ugh, people. All right, let's see. Where I'm going to go see the troll. So let's just run there together real quickly, because it's not that far away, right? Every time I'd be like, I'll meet you right there. Like literally five seconds later, I'm down, I'm down the road. Cause here's the, this thing that I thought looked like a bridge, but really isn't a bridge. It's just sort of like an arc. Oh, now I can get the circle of power specialness. Okay, but let's save since I've babbled and done things for 10 minutes. That's right, I gotta jump down. Hello, Mr. Troll. Let's talk to him. Oh, look at the big guy all asleep underneath his bridge. I feel so bad for him. Give vodka, dwarf. You drink too much. Your eyesight shit. <laughs> Why, Buck? Um... Uh, let's see. I found your mate's murderers. Let's try that one first. I punished your wife's murderers. Mine? You'll find what's left of them at the cemetery. I find... Will you fix the bridge? Trolls true. Make sure your hands are steady when you do it. No drink more. Head in peace. Oh. Poor guy. I have to wake you up again, though. Hi. Why, Buck? I... <laughs> Ekem, I have your mate's head. Yeah. I found your wife's head. My woman, I not forget. I give reward. Hunter's armor. Ooh. Let's, uh... Not that I probably have the ingredients for it, but I can... Oh, wait. It's this one. Oh, yeah. I have oil that I picked up somewhere. Hunter's armor. Poison, bleeding, incineration... That looks nice. Oh, I might actually have all the components. Because I have lots of cloth, leather, and twine. Well, since we're here, is there anything else down here? Okay, I did take a second to run all around down the water. Uh, the game actually does block me off from going into certain places, and I double-checked, and the K-Ran's all the way up here somewhere. So we are going to go up this other side of the kind of bridge and, and see what's up here. Oh, look, the game just saved me. Well, I'm going to save anyway. Um... I don't think I can go that way or that way. Is there another path over here? Hmm. Oh, it seems to be monsters aplenty. I saw them on the corner of my eye. Oh look, there's people hanging. Lovely. I'm guessing a drowner? Yep. By the water. Oh, Geralt, we Damn need to get out monsters. the Witcher sword. That's, that's the one that's actually going to do things. Let's not embarrass myself again. There we go. Still pretty good at killing drowners, I guess. I would have thought there would be... I don't know. Oh, I can search him? Hang on, let's try to... Oh. Superb, well-balanced dagger. Well, that's different. 
browner brains, because I always need more of those. Well, let's see, where am I at? Oh, I'm down in this, like, marsh area. Huh. It's raining again. How lovely. The other reason I came down here is when I looted um, Dimitri, I saw there was um, a key to a hideout. I don't know where it would be in my inventory because, ah, yeah, see, Bandit's Key Hideout. And, I mean, I suppose it could be, like, up here where I haven't gone yet, but it would make sense that it was by where the troll was, and that's why they killed the wife or the, his lady. I don't know if they're married. Do trolls get married? I mean, deep questions. Um, oh, look, a house. Oh, crap. A house full of tons of bandits. Okay, I found the bandits hideout. Okay, let's, um... Let's try to do this properly. Tamaria for Tamarian! What does that even mean? Oh crap, Carol! A hero, eh? You know, you guys are supposed to wait your turns. <laughs> That's how it works, right? Ow, ow, ow. Come on, I've got an enemy. Okay, you got me there. Oh, come on. This should not really be so complicated. A hero, eh? Oh, oh. I'm not blocking well today. Ow, dang. There we go. <laughs> I'm like not even hardly dead. I don't know why I'm freaking out so much. Okay. But anyway, I think my whole thought process was that the... They must be down here somewhere. Oh, silver ore. I have one. I thought I picked up a bunch. I thought I bought a bunch. I don't know. Did I just arm it again? Because, yeah. Good job. It's collected. I can sell these. And then it's... Oh! <sighs> really, Geralt, you stepped in the trap and then armed it again. Yeah, I see you, sir. Come on. Anybody else out here? What is those are more traps. I don't want to waste my time doing that. They're not worth that much money. <laughs> timber and more timber. Anything over here? Oops. Okay, let's save in case there's like an army of, I don't know, bandits in here. No, there's not. Well, isn't that lovely? Is there much to loot? Oil and amethyst. Stone medallion. Diagram for Endriga hide armor reinforcements in a sun rune. Endriga hide. Armor. I have two of them. <laughs> okay. 
Can I sell one of them for like a billion orans? <laughs> All right, I think I am done out here right now. I'm going to run back to town because unless I'm a moron, you can't fast travel still. Um, and I will meet you there once I arrive because it is a bit of a run. And here we are back in Lobinden and Shorab is still asleep. So we are going to wake him up. You owe me 200 orans. You'll get 100. Um. Uh, yeah, the troll didn't try and cheat me. Listen, I made deals with you and the troll. He kept his word. You're trying not to. I haven't the coin. Sure you don't want to look a little harder? <laughs> what if I don't find any? Then I'll look myself. This is robbery. Here, I hope you choke on it. How is it robbery? It's what you agreed to pay. I mean, seriously. What a jerk. Okay, well, I'm going to take a few minutes to empty my bags a little bit. I'm going to try and see if I can find um, vendors who sell any iron ore or silver ore and check my storage place again. Um, but once I'm all sorted and ready to move on to the next quest, that is when I will pick you back up. And here we are. I did probably spend way too long in Flotsam emptying my bags, shopping, and creating a new shiny Witcher sword. Superb silver sword. It's it's it should be a lot more powerful against monsters, especially the Karen, hopefully, because that's what I have left next in my quest log. So the Karen was a quest we picked up. This is a uh, a monster that's been holding up trade and whatnot. Um, Sheila uh, de Tanterville's out here hunting it. Cedric told us kind of where to go. And Triss basically teleported herself there to, to meet us at this. What do we have to go to the monster's lair? And Triss is going to join us there. At least that's what I think I'm doing next. It, it was so long ago, honestly, I can't really remember. So, oh yeah, it says find a sample of the Karen's mucus in its lair for reasons that uh, I'm sure will be re-explained to me later that I'm poorly explaining to you right now. Um, so I got my new Witcher sword in town. I also went and, sh went and bought a, a book or two. Um, I did buy a book about Endriga's after I fought them. So hopefully that's not going to be a problem, but... I'm sure it's fine. So, map. I need to go all the way up here to the Karen's lair. So I think I'm at the area where I need to head towards. There's a road of sorts. So I figured we can explore the northern part of the forest today and hopefully make our way up to the lair. Things seem to not be as far away as they look on the map sometimes. Actually, I need to save because I haven't done that in a really long time. And there's a or, oh, bandits. Hi. Okay, let's take care of this guy. Oh, this guy first, because that really hurts. Well, it doesn't actually hurt hurt. It's more just annoying hurts. Oh. Thing. Nope, I guess I'm not going to do it. So I've noticed when trying, attempting to level myself up. Oh yeah, I did totally find my iron and silver in my storage container. I just, I wasn't looking in it properly like a, a Um and, and totally had everything I needed and then some. <laughs> <laughs> to, to make my fancy silver sword. But I was saying that when I've been leveling up, I'm not sure if I'm, I don't know, it's kind of hard to gauge if I'm picking skills properly. Like I'm, I'm looking back at what I killed, what I killed, what I, what I selected. And I'm not sure I'm going to like those decisions later in the game. And I don't know if there's a way to like respect or if I'm just sort of stuck with it. 
because like I've added mutagens to things and I don't think I should have and I, I don't think it's like game ending sort of decision that I made but I wish there was a way to respec. Maybe there is. I I would be surprised. But um oh ricochet. Apparently I got that achievement. I wonder what that was for. <laughs> Nope. Oh, look, a chest. Orins. Well, I'll take the money. Helps me buy shiny things. Oh, and I did find one ingredient, the Araka's Eyes, sold by somebody, so I bought it just in case I don't get it again. Because I think that was the only thing I didn't have off of your recommended list, which I really did appreciate. Um, don't spoil me, but any tips, much appreciated. We green oh, there's Tris. Hey, hey Tris. Hey, girl. All right, we saved, let's talk to her. I wonder what's left of that wreck Cedric mentioned. If the Karen attacked the boat, it's not likely to be much. We're looking for traces of the beast, not boats. That's right, I remember now. We were supposed to find the boat that was attacked by the Karen because it's got poisonous mucus or something. We'll just follow Tracy. She seems to know where she's going. All right, Tris, I gotta look. It's so pretty. Oh, again, again kind of like, you know, I know I've got Witcher 3 after this, but like, and I, and I feel like I, I read somewhere because of the popularity of the TV show and because, you know, because the popularity of the TV show, like new purchases of Witcher 3 like skyrocketed last December or something. And now supposedly they're gonna make a fourth one, um, which is cool. But I wish they would make like a prequel one where like all this stuff was put together. I mentioned it a lot in my Dragon Age videos, which I do post every single day if you wanna go watch them. <laughs> Shameless plug over. Okay, Tris, I'm coming. I'm coming. So, um, am I not going the right way? Ah, I really hate that I can't spam that. I know I keep complaining. Ah, here we go. Let's hit it again. Flowers. Okay. Hi, Tris. Um, oh, <laughs> do you know how to remove a tattoo? Listen, you know how to remove a tattoo? I thought you looked different. Couldn't put my finger on it, though. Hmm. Think it looks all right? What's it of? A naked lady brandishing a sword? <laughs> Geralt. <laughs> All right, you can stop now. <laughs> hey, I didn't give you that tattoo. There's this mixture that cleanses the tissue just beneath your skin. And to make it, I'll need green mold, white myrtle petals, and wolf's aloe. <laughs> well, I'm off to hunt down some herbs. I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention this to Dandelion. And you can stop laughing. <laughs> no, I can't. Um... I, I feel like I have a lot of that, but we'll worry about it later. <laughs> okay. So we need to go out to this boat. Oh, sorry. I don't want to talk to you again. Can I, I can jump down. Are you going to help, Tris? See those footprints? Yeah. Strange place for an evening walk. Unless you're looking for adventure. Um, okay. Oh, I see them. Very vaguely. All right. The medallion again. Oh, crap, Triss, um, drowners. Oh, crap, come on. Ow. 
Ow, 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 ow. Get me out, ow, ow. We find Triss. Your mage just magic them. Flowers. Nice to run into some old friends. Almost brings a tear to your eye. Let's examine the traces of the Karen and get out of here. Yeah, drowners. I have lesser strength mutagen. I finally put all my mutagens in my bank, for lack of a better word, because um, I don't want to keep accidentally using them. Well, it's not accidental. It's more like a purposeful accidentally using them. Okay. The ram's stuffed with sulfur and a dead cobbler. Straight out of Eastern legends. Not good enough for the Karen, though. Hmm. I keep hearing things bubble and it's really freaking me out. Ew. Is this what we need to pick up? Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. This monster's sick, Geralt. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years. Perhaps a decade and change. Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. Um, I'm a mutant, I guess. <laughs> what makes you think it's dying? I mean, I'm a mutant. The mucus cells I diagnosed are very similar to cancer cells. In some ways, they're more effective than healthy cells, but they're out of control. They converge to create a red tissue. Very unpleasant. The poor thing. <laughs> but you brought up an interesting point. Want to know the core difference between mutants and non-mutants? Uh, sure. Of course I do. The changes made through alchemy and magic in your body would require thousands of years to develop on their own. This development would result from genetic errors that would cause your body to adapt, become a more efficient organism, effectively mutate, but over a very long time. When this development occurs over millennia, across multiple generations, we proudly call it natural selection, <laughs> evolution. When it occurs quickly, in a single organism or a few representatives of a species, we frown on it as mutation. And here I thought you liked me. What else? The Karen's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Ostmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Karen. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? Mm -hmm. See you. But you just got here. But is it just me or was she totally channeling like Professor X there? Like explaining, you know, basically that um, Geralt is an X-Men. <laughs> it's just without the rest of them. So, okay, well, um, Find Ostmark yourself or talk to Cedric. So I have to do that back. I just got out here. Let's wander around. There's this whole wreck over here I should look at, right? <laughs> she was totally channeling Professor X, right? All I could think about, if was giggling about, um, was, you know, Geralt wearing one of the X-Men uniform suits. <laughs> Can I, oh, oh, look, Lawrence and key of the Petra Sheila's cap, Silly's captain. I think it's Sheila. Oh, mystical river. Ooh. And the monster's lair, Gerald spotted the wreck of a large riverboat within its shattered hull lay a corpse, which as it turned out was that of the boat's captain. On the corpse, Gerald found a key. Picking it up, he instinctively looked around for the lock it might open. So I had an update for the Karen as well. 
One of the monsters mucus was highly toxic. Triss Tris gave our hero the formula for a potion that would render him immune to the beast's terrible venom. Well, we're, we're definitely getting that. Um, but he needed an herb known as Ostmark. So what is the formula? No, that's tutorial. Crafting? No. Here we go. Alchemy. Mongoose. A two, what, 20,000%? <laughs> that is insane. Insanely awesome. Okay, so let's... No, I wanted to do Mystic River right now. Of course, there's no quest marker. Of course, there's not. Oh, there's another. Let's see, Captain's Report, Captain's Log. Let's look at those. Sealed copy of the personal diary of the Petra Sheila's captain. An exact copy of the personal diary. An elegant note on the cover states, deliver via the Royal Mail directly to his magnificence, the Chancellor of the University of Oxenfurt. Captain's log, <laughs> star date. <laughs> The expedition to Loch Mune has proven a success that will doubtlessly please both King Foltest, who so generously backed our expedition, as well as the university. Oswin seems exceptionally pleased. I have never before seen a sorcerer jumping for joy. Oswin tried to get the crew to mutiny, offering them the valuables we had discovered in order to keep the artifact for himself. Fortunately, Foltest's marines remained loyal. Passing Vergen, there was a battle in which we sunk the Dairden. We had to flee, though, continually attacking, attacked by harpies, summoned by Oswin's spell. Oswin sounds like a jerk. Oswin's spell still has the power to attract monsters, even though the sorcerer now lies at the bottom of the river. The soldiers bravely repel the monstrosities that harass us. I'm almost finished with my report for Oxenfurt, which, seems, which sums up the results of our research and marks the location of Darden's resting place. We're almost home. Oh, is that why? I suppose I could forward this, but where the hell in Flotsam will I find a drop box for the Royal Post? Um, I don't know. Can I go on the other side, or is this kind of like the end? I think this is the end. Okay. So... The key the Witcher found the corpse matched, matched a rusty chest. Okay, and who's the who who was by the king's will the ranking official in Flotsam? Probably Bernardo, Bernard Laredo. Um two boats had sailed upon to our hero felt he would be he could well be lucky enough to come across the wreck of the second vessel. The witcher's hunches were rarely wrong. Ooh, a second vessel? Like out here? I don't think so. I don't think that's what that said, though. Geralt noted that two boats had sailed the Pontar, so they probably sunk at different places. Maybe we see that later in the game. Account of his journey. Okay, well, I need to go back to the city no matter what to find someone who's going to mail this book for him. So I'm going to run all the way back there. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll pick you back up again once I arrive. And how do you find Kunkin? Okay, well, here we are back in what town, and I did wander around for a few minutes Life trying to think of somebody it. who I could turn in this book to to get mailed off to where it needs to go. And the only person I could really think of was the same guy who I it's came true, to. Ah, oh, he's like a cat. Yeah, I get over it. Um, the only oh, guy. Oh, we thought it was young. No. Okay. As I was trying to say, the one guy I could think of, market crowd elf woman 7A. <laughs> okay. As I've been trying to say, I came back into town. I was wandering around trying to think of who would be like an official sort of person. And the only one I could think of is this guy here, Louis Merce. He's the one who came to turn in all of like the the contracts too. So he must be some sort of official, official, official. So let's see if he can help us. Oh, he can help us. Drop the report into the post office box of the Royal Mail. 
Can we talk to him first? Hmm? Hmm, is this a post box? On your desk. Is that a drop box for the Royal Post? Yes, I am the local Royal Postmaster. One of my many responsibilities. Can I look inside? Would you mind if I looked inside? Absolutely no problem. <laughs> Enjoy your reading. So long. That's great. <laughs> um, okay, search Louis Mercer's reports. Okay. Let's, okay, let's read that and then we'll drop off the book. Reply to the Temerian Special Forces in answer to your inquiry regarding a local band producing fist tech. Again, I feel like this is all my fault. <laughs> I hasten to inform you that we have not recorded any activity of this kind in Flotsam, excluding tavern brawls. The town is mercifully free of vice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> A fact we all owe to the energetic efforts of Commandant Laredo. Rumors of the brigand Dimitri are likewise false. The rogue in question was executed for his crimes by Geralt. You're welcome. Of which I apprised you, uh, you in my previous report. Oh, you lied. You fibber. Commandant Laredo urged me to convey that he advises you to replace your informer as the present one apparently fabricates information. Put simply, he lies like a dog, thus tarnishing the good name of the intelligence service. The Commandant also wonders whether your next inquiry will regard a flock of pigs flying over flotsam or elves approaching the garrison walls. Gentlemen, please. May the gods preserve Tamaria Louis Merce Royal Burgermeister. Okay, so let's insert the letter and let's look at my updates. So, found the letter to... When Gerald found the post box, he thought that it could also contain secret information carried by special couriers. Laredo's letters would be interest, interesting reading. So without a second thought, the Witcher resolved to get his hands on the contents of the mailbox. He found a letter to Vizima officials... It suggested that Merce had contemptuously dismissed the charges of corruption, mismanagement, and colluding with bandits against Laredo. It seemed that Merce openly disdained his superiors in the capital, not fearing any unpleasant consequences. Carol kept this, in, this fact in mind for future reference. Above all, however, our hero placed the parcel from Petra Sheila's captain in the box. I can tell you it reached its addressy and quas. It was quite a stir, but that's a topic for another story. So we need to look for an opportunity to travel up the Pontar River where you can find another boat wreck. Well, I figure that's going to happen no matter what. So the kind of side quest to go with the Karen main quest, I'm assuming it's main quest, uh, was that we need to find the herb Ostermark and the lovely Triss told us to go and talk to Cedric. So, instead of me just wandering around, <laughs> uh, we'll go right talk to Cedric. Household. Greetings, Sunny. You know, he is, she has told you how it is at her household, like, probably two dozen times. It'd be great if you would just listen maybe once. Just, just put it out there. Okay, and Cedric is, oh, he's up here. I love my haircut. It's awesome. Okay, let's save and talk to him. Yeah, where can I find some Ostmerk? Ostmerk? I forget how they said it. Cedric, I need some Ostmerk. It's a rare variety of moss grows underground. I know it. There are some caves to the south. Deep in the woods. If Osmerk grows anywhere in the area, it will be there. Okay, having in the past worn his boots down on long treks in pursuit of lousy rewards, Geralt decided to give his feet some rest and choose the second option. He went to see Cedric and asked him about the Osmerk. As luck would have it, the elf sent him on another trek deep into the forest to a cave beneath some elven ruins. Ooh. I I don't know why I keep going. Why I keep going back to my journal. 
Okay. So we've been down there. I just need to follow the river. Well, let me follow the river. And kind of a time, but let's let's get to the river and see what we can get through. Okay, I did make my way down to this little pool of water here and fought a bunch of neckers along the way. Uh, my shiny new sword is freaking awesome. I'll tell you that much. Oh, hello, sir. Sorry, oh, you're a guard, you work for Loretta. Well, either way, well, let's head inside. What was that? Thought I saw something pop up. Guessing inside the water here? There we go. Um, yeah, we can go for a little bit farther. A little bit, a little bit farther. Let's save just in case something happens and <laughs> I have to reload. I hear something. Oh dear. I'm oh. too old for this. Freaking neckers. So much better. <laughs> so much better. Can I not lose? Thank you. Oh, here's a Necro Warrior. Not one of them. Oh my gosh, this sword is amazing. <laughs> Try bomb since there's a bunch of you guys. Ah. I want to go a sign route with my build, but like I also want to make sure that I still have plenty of stuff with swords because I'm getting it. I am better this time around with um, using my signs, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to start forgetting it and just start smashing my buttons to uh, use my sword. Really, guys, I just want to come pick the flower or whatever it is, the weed. And stop spawning. That would be excellent. All right. Well, I am going to loot all you guys. Ah, not before another warrior shows up. Oh, I gotta get closer. One girl. Damn monsters. Right. But then if like monsters didn't exist, you wouldn't have a job, which you probably would appreciate. Or this job anyway. Okay. Necker stuff and necker stuff. It wouldn't be so bad if like, um, all the crafting stuff didn't weigh anything. That would be, you know, that'd be better. Look, someone else. Valuable figurine. Robust, well-balanced dagger. Okay. Well, um, I am pretty much a time for today and there's two ways that I can go and I want to explore everything as thoroughly as possible. So uh, we're going to end here and pick you back up here on Tuesday obviously. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Tuesday with another new Witcher 2 video.